Here's a brief update on the Galileo. I had some time in front of the computer today, so I uh, took some frame grabs I had from Galileo 7. Made a clean plate for the back room there with these three, uh, I don't know, whatever containers, tubes they are. Printed up a generic gray sheet that I could use for extra spacing. There's this detail that goes by the back door. Then of course all the computer panels. I pretty much uh, guesstimated at how big everything was going to be here and uh, it worked out pretty close. As you can see this panel here is uh, just about spot on so I'll just get that centered. From the main doorway you can see a little bit of this sidewall so I'm just going to drop this little bit of gray in here like that to uh, act as a little bit of a reinforcement. If I need some extra wall, and this is obviously the completely wrong gray for this, uh, the wall comes out flat, then it curves back a little, so I may just put a little bit of an extra lip there, like that, for space, and then uh, this little guy goes in somewhere right there, then each of these pairs of terminals goes one on the bottom uh, wall and then one up on the top. So uh, I'm going to put these online at Hobby Talk so if anyone wants them they can get them. It's looking like these might be a little too big. So let's take a look at that right now. I printed these out on a gloss paper. These are almost half an inch each. Close to uh, like 0.4 inches. Uh, almost like cutting decals but not quite. The one on the floor there, yeah, these are definitely a bit too big. So, yeah, what I think I'll do is I'll shrink these down just a little bit more, make them closer to uh, a half inch itself. I think I meant 0 0.6, not 0 0.4 inches. So if these go down to 0.4, that's probably much closer to where they need to be. This back wall should be the same color as the side and the front wall so uh, I should probably redo that and I don't remember if the ceiling is a uh, salmon color like that but I'm sticking with that one the way it is and uh, that's pretty much it this is just about ready to be sealed up as you can see the chair back here kind of broke loose so I need to glue him back down and uh, once this is all set on the interior that seam looks pretty good there I may not have to do any work with it the front may need a bit of work there but I'll know when I throw uh, some single color primer on there and then uh, looks like this side will definitely need a little bit of patching but this will be the back side of the diorama too so I'm not too worried about it the bottom, this side fits really well on that, but over here there's a very distinct lip, so I don't know if I'll put some styrene in here yet to buffer it out and then just pinch the back, or how I'll fill that in, but uh, that won't be too bad, and again, once this thing is uh, sealed up, it'll uh, be a lot better off. So, I'm really psyched about this. Uh, it's come out far better than I would have imagined I could have got it and you know certainly a lot of that is this back part being accuratized and you know obviously I should have put these two braces further in after I checked my reference and that's a lesson for you always have your reference on hand when you're building stuff because uh, you'll get it wrong otherwise and it's something it's a lesson I should have learned from all my old 3d work but uh, there you go so once this is all sealed up and painted, 
I can attach this to the flight deck, I can paint that up and then work on the diorama proper itself. So uh, that's pretty much it for Galileo now. Like I say, I'll go and reprint these and I'll post the master on Hobby Talk if anyone wants to go and get it for themselves. Because, uh, you know, just that little piece alone is, I'm sure, definitely going to be handy for someone somewhere sometime. So that's pretty much it for now. Uh, happy modeling, and I'll catch you guys later.